Hi there, it's Kurt with Kurt Tanner Motor Cars. Um, this is our 1974 Triumph TR6 convertible. It's finished in pimento red, black interior, four speed, disc wheels, luggage rack, and uh, pr pretty nice general, uh, you know, nice driver's condition car. Pretty good paint, really attractive in this, uh, in this original pimento red color. Um, let's do a little walk around on the body and paint first. Um, excellent gaps all the way around. Really good, honest body. I mean, incredibly honest. Um, great gaps, great panel fit. Um, you know, kind of an older single repaint. Um, I looked underneath this car briefly just now. Totally rust-free, gorgeous, you know, you know original uh, uh, undercarriage um, coming up on this passenger door there's a little scratch right here um, but you know the rest of the car is pretty pretty darn good down the right side another little chip here a real light chip on the uh, on the uh, the rear fender fantastic trunk lid the back of the car is nicely painted in that semi uh, gloss uh, blackening there Coming around the corner here, we do see a little chip here on the on the uh, on the tonneau panel that can be touched up. Another little scrape there on the on the wheel arc, but um, there is, there is also another little bit of chipping here along the bulkhead. You can see a couple little spots here where the hood needs to just kind of be adjusted forward. But you know, from ten foot, gorgeous um, gorgeous appearance. So if you're looking for you know a, an excellent driver. TR6 in this mid-year. Um, this is a really, really good little car. Um, we can see here the uh, the windshield rubber was renewed with the, the insert lock-up strip. This is the original windshield. It's in decent shape overall. It's fitted with these door mirrors, um, which, have, which have been an addition. So um, upholstery-wise, this is where the car could use a little bit of improvement. Um, let's take a let's take a look here. Um, great, great original door panels. You can see the wood on the dash is starting to look a little tired. Uh, the top dash pad has a little you know crack in it, and, and also the passenger side. So, a little bit of attention there needed. Um, carpets look pretty reasonable. This um, this passenger seat looks pretty pretty good. We know it's original. It looks completely original. It is losing a little bit uh, of the padding here, but that can definitely uh, be tidied up and saved. Um, the car's fitted with this really nice black uh, top boot. Let's take a look around the other side here. Um, the lower driver seat squab needs a little bit of attention, but the back is okay if it's restuffed. So, you know, small little repair to be made there. But, you know, generally just just kind of a driver condition interior needing a little bit of uh, improvement. Carpets look pretty reasonable, though. Um, I believe this top was up and it was in real good shape. It had one little uh, tear, which is typical. But uh, I think most of the interiors, the, the biggest needs are going to be a little bit of dash improvement. Um, I haven't driven the car yet. Our, our videographer is uh, away. And, and when he gets back, we're going to get this thing on the road. Um, Let's take a look here at uh, see what's going on in the trunk. Um, in the trunk, we see that it's um, all nicely trimmed here. You can see it's an original pimento red car. This is the original tonneau in excellent shape. There's also a, uh, a front bra provided, which is kind of a, an older period accessory. But, you know, trunk's, trunk's pretty decently trimmed. It does have this chrome factory luggage rack, which is great. Let's take a look in here um, and check out the engine compartment. So engine-wise, we can see it's uh, always been a, an original Pimento red car. Um, it runs great. I've got, like I said, I've got to take it out for a little spin and do the driving video on the car. Um, 
There's a, there's a peculiar thing up front here where they, you know, they were trying to get some wiring through and they got a little bit uh, enthusiastic. So that could need a little, just a little sheet metal repair. But, you know, overall, pretty nice, decent engine compartment. Uh, maybe in the market for a little bit of a, a light detail, but that's an, that's an easy, easy thing. That's the original sticker, so we know that's all the original paintwork. So, uh, but like I said, you know, great sounding engine. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be posting that driving video of this car um, in the next few days. But, uh, but yeah, pretty handsome 1974 Triumph TR6 convertible. Um, you know, needs some slight interior needs, but, but pretty group, pretty good paint all the way around. Probably just a couple little touch up. Um, nice set of uh, wheels and beauty rims. We'll do this final walk around here. These cars look really good in this color. I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of red, but, you know, looking at this car, how honest and crisp all the lines are. Um, red really suits uh, a nice mid-year TR6 like this. So there it is, 1974 Triumph TR6 Pimento Red Black. Black top, top boot, tonneau cover, chrome luggage rack, four speed, disc wheels, superb, dry, solid, honest undercarriage, great body. We're, uh, we're doing the driving video shortly. So keep an eye for, out for that. And this car is available on our website. TR6 market's magical right now. A lot of people trying to secure one of these, these last of the, the, the true great British sports cars here. And it's for sale on our website, www.curttannermotorcars.com.